we start with the puzzle. What is the unit of power? You may already know the answer to this, but the question is asking why physics teachers find that statement amusing. The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy video on power. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. You must know the difference between power and energy and be able to solve calculations about power. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. We have already learned that energy and work are related ideas. Power measures how fast work is done, or to put it another way, how quickly energy is converted. As you probably know, a quantity which is a rate is calculated by dividing by time. Here is the formula. Power P is calculated as work done divided by time taken. This formula is not in the IB booklet because it's obvious from the definition of power. So the rate of doing work must be measured in joules per second. There is a unit for this, which is the watt. One watt is one joule of energy converted in one second. It is named after the Scottish engineer James Watt, who contributed to the development of steam power. Here is a simple example of how the formula is used, which will find the energy used by a laptop computer in one hour. We must be careful to use units correctly. Firstly, the average power of a laptop is approximately 50 watts. You don't have to know that figure, but it's easy to look up. Clearly, depending on the activity, the laptop may use more or less energy per second at any given moment. The time, one hour, must be converted to seconds since that is the SI unit. There are 3,600 seconds in one hour. By rearranging the power formula, we see that we must multiply power and time to calculate energy. So the energy used by the laptop in one hour is 180,000 joules, which is a large number because the unit of energy is quite small. For energy and power, therefore, prefixes are often used. In this case, we could use kilojoules or megajoules to reduce the number of zeros. We write 0 0.18 megajoules. Another unit you may sometimes come across is the kilowatt hour, which is used for domestic electricity where appliances are often rated with power in kilowatts and time is often in hours. For the 50 watt laptop used for one hour, the energy is 0.05 kilowatts in one hour. You can easily look up the local cost of one kilowatt hour. In Europe, this is around 20 euro cents, so the average laptop costs about one cent for an hour's use. Here is another formula for power, which is used in IB physics. It calculates the instantaneous power necessary to move at speed V with the driving force F. If the object is traveling at a constant speed, this must mean that an opposing force equal and opposite to the driving force is resisting the motion. Then the velocity and power are constant for the object. This question applies the formula P equals V. As ever, we must be careful with the units and the rounding. There are kilowatts and kilometers per hour here. The engine of a truck has an average useful power of 300 kilowatts. The truck keeps a constant speed of 25 kilometers an hour as it drives down a hill. What is the average braking force? So the power is 300,000 in watts and the kilometers per hour is converted by multiplying by 1,000 and dividing by 3,600. We do not have to state the actual speed in meters per second. It is better to keep this as an unresolved fraction. So the formula is P divided by V, which means 300,000 times 3,600 divided by 25,000. And the solution is here. Only two significant figures are required, and the units can be stated as kilonewtons. 43 kilonewtons. The runner is experiencing a resisting force, but she is accelerating, and so the driving force is larger. 
the resisting force is proportional to V, but the whole power, which is what we need to find, is the force times the velocity. And since the force is also proportional to velocity, then the power is proportional to velocity squared. And therefore, the graph is D, the squared curve. Here is the solution to the puzzle at the start of the video. What is the unit of power? If you say this out loud, it is both the question and the answer to the question. What is the unit of power? Yes, it is.